You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm okay. Should we get into it then? Uh, yeah, I just, uh, well, I wanted to wait for everyone. Hi, I'm sorry. I was with the patient. Oh, it's good to hear uh, Robin was just about to get started. She found something interesting on Jason's pathology. Uh, something I was hoping you could help me with. Me? Yes. Do you remember Jason's original accident? Wait, what, what does that have to do with anything? It'll give us a better picture of what we're dealing with. Okay, but can you, can you just tell us what's going on? We're getting there, I promise. AJ's car, it was, it was completely totaled, right? Um, yes. In fact, it was hit so hard that the dashboard got cracked. But the airbag didn't go off because Jason was not wearing a seatbelt, right? Right. Okay, what was this about, Robin? Well, the non-organic matter that I told you I found, I think it's a piece of AJ's dashboard. It's stuck in his brain? No, 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 that's impossible. He had a closed head injury. I well, know. Because of the impact, the particle could have went up Jason's nose through the ethmoid sinus and then further migrating into Jason's frontal lobe. Wait a minute, hold, hold on. If, the, if this thing has already been there and, and it did not show up on the scan before, why would he be seizing now? The only explanation I can come up with is that because of the recent accident that actually shifted the particle and now it's pressing on the nerve centers. I, I, I mean, it's, that's good news, right? You just you just well, take it out, and everything's gonna be okay. It's it's not that easy. 